Hey again, I'm Rahana and we are playing more of Gakko in Heaven 2. This is Joker's route and we are headed to the third round of the Bell 1. Joker is mysteriously missing, but maybe he will show up here. But let's find out what's going on. I wonder if Joker came here ahead of me. But it seems like there's no one here except me. And not just Joker, but even the cheering students aren't here. So there's absolutely no one in the auditorium, even though it's time for the third round. Very different from when we played as Tomo. Or with Tomo. Anyway, I'll go to the stage. And the panda says, it's it's greeting. Welcome to the final meeting of the Bell One Grand Prix. It's finally the last round. Whether you cry or laugh, today is the end. The final round is a test of luck. The results of the final round will be broadcast to the students through a camera in Panda-san's eyes. So it's finally time. Wait a minute, uh, neither Joker nor Professor Sakaki are here yet. And the panda's just repeating. Wait a minute, the voice is just repeating itself. So what should I do? And someone approaches. Yeah. Hey. Sonoda, you came to cheer for me. It looks like Joker isn't here yet. Have you seen him somewhere? <laughs> no response. Sonoda looks kind of really scary. <sighs> Professor Sakaki and Kyo are not coming. What does that mean? From now on, you're going to fight me. Fight? So my opponent isn't Professor Sakaki? No, I'm here as a representative of Assistant Director Sakaki. Huh? I don't really understand what you're saying. Meaning nothing. It's as I said. I'm your enemy. Wait a minute. You're part of Durak, aren't you? Why are you a representative for Professor Sakaki here? And what do you mean you're an enemy? It doesn't matter if you understand, but I haven't been on your side since the beginning. You don't believe me? Of course not. You're a student of this school. Wouldn't it be bad for you if this school closes? Not really. So here's here's our big reveal. Sonoda is the villain in this plot. Which, um... I don't know how much of a, a surprise that is with the way he's been acting in Joker's Root, but I remember I was pretty surprised by this, so... Uh, yeah. That's that's kind of a kind of a shocker there. And Yuki, of course, doesn't believe it. He doesn't want to believe that anyone could do something 
like like this, be on the side of the ward, want the school to close. And of course, we don't know Sonoda's reasons yet. And there are, oh my god, so many reasons. Like, I've I've actually been replaying through his route, getting ready to to let's play him next, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some waterworks by the time I get through to the end of it because it's just so, it's so sad. So just just a gentle reminder here, please don't hate on anyone, no matter how much of a jerk they seem to be, because everyone has reasons for doing things, and they're not excuses, but they're reasons, and they are pretty good reasons, pretty, pretty deep reasons, and also remember that these kids are just kids, they are not thinking like adults, they are kind of impulsive, they are doing things which may not seem like they have been thought through very well and um, yeah so surprise it's, it's Sonoda and we will find out more here also for, for a short time it almost seems like this the focus of Joker's route shifts to Sonoda but it definitely comes back to Joker and there's, there's a really nice ending for those two so just hang in there don't hate Sonoda don't be mad at Joker for not being here we're gonna find out some more stuff and up until now, Durak's been trying to destroy the student council. There's nothing unnatural about me opposing you like this. And you must have had doubts like about why Durak chased out the previous ace. Well, that was because Joker took the matches seriously, right? No. I set up all of it from the beginning in order to steal the rights of the student council president. So and for that, Kyo's charisma was very helpful. Do you mean that you've been tricking Joker the entire time? Yeah. And because he's the type that, as long as it entertains him, he doesn't mind the ethics of it or the goal. And as I wished, he cornered the student council. But really, without doing something so annoying like creating Durak, I wanted him to become the student council president directly. But he did weaken the student council. So the result was all right. And he did a good job chasing out the previous ace. But you were outside of my calculations. And he forgot the original goal of taking the armband and started helping you. You fought here with Kyo before, didn't you? And since then, he's been unusable. Jeez, what a ridiculous change of heart. And it couldn't be helped. I had to make a move. It could it be the student who stole my armband? Yeah, it was me. I can't believe it. Do you want to confirm it with Kyo? But too bad. Kyo and Hayato aren't coming here. Those two would get in the way of the competition that's about to start. This I had them take a bit of a rest until this final round is over. A rest? 
Well, I had to use a bit of a physical method. Yeah, it's a little sound or something. That can't be. You've never seen one before? It's a stun gun. It can't be. It's as you imagine. That's pretty hardcore. I can't believe that. You seem to be such good friends. Like when you were doing your Duroc work and during the ball tournament. If we seemed to be, to be friends, then your eyes were bad. I was simply using them. It's time, but those two haven't come. That, more than anything else, is proof. But there's no way those two could be done in so easily. Well, of course, fighters like Joker and Chiba are stronger than you, whose specialty is cooking. That's rude. Well, you are right. I could never win against those two in a fair fight. Well, saying nothing of Hayato, in Kyo's case, his armory has weak points too. Well, you know that he's gotten close to you. He told you about the accident and his body. So that's interesting to note. So Sonora does know about that. For, for some reason, I thought he only knew about the eyesight because that's what Joker mentioned when he took off his eye patch and explained everything to Yuki. He did say uh, the shooting club and Durak knows of, know about it. But it seemed like in the bath that Chiba did not know why Joker has the scar. But it seems like Sonora knows. Which is interesting. I wonder why he told Sonoda and not Chiba. Maybe just... Maybe Sonoda found out somehow. I mean, you don't know. Don't know how far he's willing to go in order to accomplish his goal. Which we don't know what it is yet. Anyway, so he told you about the accident and about his body. <laughs> as long as you know about that, all you have to do is aim for his blind spot. But Chiba... Hayato is even simpler than Kyo. If you take Kyo hostage first, then Hayato has no choice but to go along quietly. Because he's an idiot who would even commit seppuku for Kyo. So, you know, ritual suicide. He would do it. I believe it. Why? Why would you go so far and do something so cruel? That's the question on everyone's mind now. Because I have a goal. And in order to accomplish it, I'm prepared to do anything. And for the sake of that, I don't care if I make enemies of every student in this school. I absolutely don't care if this school closes. Are you serious? Yeah. So you never supported me? Never as a member of Durak with Joker and Chiba? <laughs> Support you? I never had any intention of doing that. That's a lie. Didn't you make me delicious food every day because Joker asked you to? And today's lunch, too. 
And even without Joker being there, you offered me food and you gave me a whole bunch. Otto. Uh, what is this? Just now, my, my vision got, got warped. Oh, it's finally working. Working? Well, you're having eyes for nothing but food, and on top of that, your complete lack of suspicion of other people. Those were a big help to me. It can't be. You put something in my lunch. Well, that stamina food, all of it had a pretty heavy flavor, so you didn't notice, did you? Sonna. What is this? My vision is spinning and I feel out of it. Uh. <sighs> I have no grudge against you personally. But since the Bell won, the whole time, you had either Kyo or Hayato with you, so this was the only thing that I could do. Until now, I did various things trying to sabotage you from behind the scenes. But that's all that I did. But before you could even notice, Kyo and Hayato ruined it all. So the person who was setting up traps and things with the ones that we saw in Tomo's route and the ones that we didn't see here because Joker took them out before they could even do anything, they were all set by Sonoda. And so, you made it to the final round. <laughs> And that's why I had to use this direct method. And I didn't want to use this means against you who properly savored my food. So that's something that you'll see over and over again with Sonoda, especially when, when we play going after him, that he respects Yuki for enjoying and appreciating his food not just you know like the rest of the students do where they don't understand it uh yuki's kind of a gourmet so he he does have an affinity uh sonoda does have an affinity for him because of that and as a cook putting it in the food was the last thing i wanted to do and you can see just from his expression, that that has really gone against his his pride as a as a cook. Then why? Well, I couldn't really be a traitor and do this much with a wavering resolve. I won't let anyone interfere. Please don't think ill of me. <laughs> You look like you still don't believe that I'm a traitor. Of course, I don't believe it. I don't want to believe it. And Yuki sounds pretty bad here, but um, he's not going to die or anything. Just don't... <laughs> It's not quite that bad. It's a. Uh... But yeah, I was I was kind of worried here the first time I got here. I was like, oh my god, Yuki's been poisoned. Not not quite. <laughs> I want you to say it's a lie. Kiyo realized a long time ago that I was the traitor who stole the armband. Remember, he did mention that. So I thought he'd already revealed that to you. But it looks like he kept it a secret. That may be how much he treasures you. That he doesn't want Yuki to worry about things like that. He doesn't want him to know that there's someone plotting against him. 
俺としては君に警戒されずに済んで逆に助かったな But instead, it helped me that you weren't on guard against me. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But didn't it hurt you to be deceiving Joker and Chiba the entire time? Poor Yuki's soul still wants to believe in him. Ah, no, not at all. But aren't you and Joker best friends? Shinyu? Ha! Masaka! Whatever I saw, son of Winnie Omota Cotonante, each domo nine. Best friends, of course not. I never thought of him that way even once. Kyo da te. Tabun oreto najda. And it's probably the same for him. Sona. Aitz ga oreo do omoti lukawa. Konosai kanke nai. What Kyo thinks of me has nothing to do with it. Seto kayo tsubus kotonia. Aitz da te saisho a do i stetanda. At the beginning, he agreed with trying to destroy the student council. And he had a change of heart toward you, so rather, he was the one who betrayed me. It's not like I became a traitor just recently. And trying to persuade me at this point is useless. Sonoda san. Sate, Hanashi o Hondai ni modosoka. Let's get back to the point. And I'm going to stop here because that's the explanation of everything, or as much explanation as we're going to get from Sonoda this time of what's going on here. And then he's going to explain what's going to happen in the actual Bell One. But this is the perfect place to stop, and、uh, I'm not going to offer any commentary here until we get to the very end. And、um, I'll see you next time with the continuation of this scene. Thank you for watching.